The ability to also do video filters is kind of new in videos 2.0 as well. So let's go back here in Camtasia and you guys have probably all seen these kinds of things. They're called cinematic filters. So in other words, a layer of color or, you know, dust particles or different lighting effects that you can apply in the editing process if you have these things called filters, right? So in videos 2.0, if we go to, let's see, where is it? I think it's under overlays. Uh, and they'll be like adding a bunch more of these and things like that. Uh, but this, you'll notice, it's got a checkerboard background, which means that that is transparent. But you'll notice that it's kind of hazy, okay? And it's got like this pulsating light thing going on, okay? So whatever is checkerboard here is going to show through. If we drop this on top, and I'll demo that in just a minute, but it also, you know, has this ex uh, additional lighting effect. So let's just kind of go ahead and see what that looks like. Let me pick a spot here. Let's go into Videos Assets. Limelight. Okay, so I'm going to drop this guy on top. And as I move into the clip here, once I get to the effect, watch what happens. Okay, it's like boom. <laughs> So there's like little little sparkles, sparkler sparkles and smoke and you know all of that good kind of stuff going on, right? So that's uh, one of the benefits that 2.0 has is that there's there and there's going to be a just a bunch more. I've seen seen the beta ones that'll be added over time, but that is just some potentially handy stuff. Now, let's see, let's do another Camtasia tip for working with this stuff in the real world. Okay, so let's think about this a second. So here I have camera footage, and then all of a sudden, boom. Now, I think what we should be able to do, let's say I wanted that to just kind of ease in, to fade in that effect. So here it is, and it's where I want it on the timeline. That's when I want it to start, but I want it to kind of fade in. So let's go to the Transitions tab, and let's just maybe grab a Fade Transition and drop it at the beginning. So now when I scrub, that effect is just going to kind of fade in, right? And of course with a Fade, I can adjust how long it takes. So maybe I want it to fade in over like two seconds, nice and slow. So it would almost be very subtle. Okay. Uh, what else could we do? Let's say that it's too much. There's too much of it. So let's see if this works. I'm going to click on it. And let's go to the Visual Properties tab. And let's just mess with the opacity. So let's take, let's make it a little more see-through, a little more transparent. And you'll notice that now it's much more subtle, isn't it? Okay, so that's something we could probably play with. Yeah, that's kind of neat. You notice that there's kind of the streaks of light here now. <laughs> Whereas if we just kind of look at it, yeah, that's none of it. So here's before, here's after. And you'll notice that, again, you'll see a lot of these kinds of filters in professional stuff. So, yeah, I kind of like that. Uh, so that's a couple of things that are fairly interesting. Was that um, kind of useful? Sort of how you probably will use this stuff in the real world. And that being said, I will rarely, I, and I think if maybe if I was making like a music video, well, I might try to create a bunch of these animations and, and make a video or make all the video content, you know, in one shot here. But keep in mind, this is just for creating assets, just for creating clips. Uh, the exception being something like a filter here, you know, that I can kind of use generically. So I won't try to make entire videos with videos. <laughs> 
but rather I need to know how to use them as elements in my Camtasia projects. So that's kind of the scoop there. Uh, let me give you one more tip real quick. So you'll notice that there's the lighting effect. We faded it in. It's all good. It's all awesome. And then, boom. I need it to last longer. Well, if I try to grab it here and extend it, you'll notice that, let's go to the clip bin, or the library here. I can right click on it. And if we look at the properties, you see that it's eight seconds long, right? If I want it to stay longer, and I still want that animation. This is what's called the loopable clip. So the way I would do that is I would just grab it again and drop it behind it, tuck it in, and now it will just basically uh, last longer. So that's just uh, kind of a few tips there. Of course, I can fade it out by dropping another transition at the end if I want. Or I could just go to like the end of my video clip or however you want to use it. But just be aware, those are a few of the different options that you might have. So uh, I can s certainly shorten it, but if you want to extend it, then you're going to be, you know, dropping multiple instances of it. Right? Okay, cool.